In this video, we're going to take a look at some car manufacturers who are going to be using blockchain payments in cars. Also, we're going to look inside the Ripple Bitso partnership, and BRD has authored a really nice blog post on their partnership with Ripple. And it all starts right now. Welcome to On The Chain. This is Chip Off The Block. Let's get started, shall we? I wanted to let you know that you can find out more information about On The Chain at onthechain.io. And you can also find, we've also added some new, some new partners here. So we've got Cinnamon, Coil, YouTube, and YouTube Live. So we've expanded to Cinnamon and Coil. So we've got you can go ahead and choose which one you want to stream to, and we're going to be adding very soon the uh, podcast section here. So I teased the list a little bit. This is the BMW, General Motors, and Ford. Start testing blockchain payments in cars. Now, this is a little bit on the sketchy side. talks about what it's going to be doing, that they're testing this blockchain car identification and payment system, and it's by automakers, Renault, BMW, um, General Motors, Ford, and Honda, they're going to start next month, but it's kind of an odd article in the sense that they don't really tell you too much in the way of what it's going to be doing. So what blockchain is it going to be using? They're going to be using blockchain. They're throwing that away around as if it's some new buzzword. The Alliance reportedly envisions the system being applied to connected electric vehicles, so tolls, maintenance, and rest stop purchases, for example, can be recorded and paid automatically when the car is plugged in to charge its battery. In September, Mercedes-Benz parent com company Daimler AG and mechanical engineering firm Dura AG conducted a pilot transaction on blockchain software from the R3's Marco Polo trade network. So they don't really get into exactly what this is. I think we're going to have to keep a closer eye on this. But here's another article as well. This was the official release that talked about it. It said uh, the group sees the blockchain-based system being used for connected electric autos with expenditures such as tolls and all that, which we kind of just talked about a little bit. And they're going to be using something, a smart grid using blockchain, but they don't talk about what exactly what blockchain they're using. And they don't talk about, you know, what's going to actually power this, this payment system. So we'll just have to keep up with this. But I like the idea because it's more Internet of Things, right? The IoT, we know who's king of that. So U.S. Treasury Secretary, uh, he fears that uh, that the regulatory fears forced a Libra exodus, you think? So Steve Mnuchin um, said the backers of cryptocurrency Libra dropped out of the project over concerns of the stable coins. Meanwhile, um, you don't see the SEC taking any action. You don't see the token taxonomy bill coming out. And it's government, as usual, it doesn't matter who's running the show, which side is running it. Uh, you know, when you have... Companies like Visa and MasterCard, Stripe, eBay, you know, these are the big boys and with, with along with uh, PayPal. They're pulling out because there's no regulatory clarity. So you always hear government officials complaining about the fact there's no government clarity, but it seems to be a, an ongoing um, sort of a uh, an issue nonstop. So here's what's interesting about this, though. 21 organizations have signed the Libra Association charger, charter days after a slew of high-profile defections. So the P, who actually signed off on this? So David uh, Marcus, who's the uh, who who leads the Facebook uh, Calibra initiative, he said that um, Andreessen Horowitz, Winces Sensares, uh, CEO of Zappo, Patrick Ellis, a bunch of people were on board here to go ahead and sign. So we had Andreessen Horowitz, Thrive Capital, Rivet Capital, Union Square Ventures, Breakthrough Initiatives, Iliad, Vodafone. So we see some big ones still in there like Vodafone. Uber, Lyft, Kiva, and Spotify are still in there, but you notably know, there's a lot of people missing. But they just did trudge forward with this, which is kind of interesting. Ripple and Coinbase invest in Bitso as an exchange looks beyond Mexico. I think the biggest thing about this really is it's not so much about Mexico, but they want to expand in Argentina and Brazil, obviously for population. And if you look at the penetration that's going right now into South America, it's largely been 
uh, really one one player, which is Santander. They've just expanded into Chile, I think Peru, and maybe one other country. So the race is sort of on to create uh, these new corridors, and I think this is going to be huge, right, for for Bitso. Uh, for example, the region Argentina, Brazil, among other Latin American nations, ready for disruption. We want to be the ones to do so by radically advancing financial inclusion for everyone. We've heard a lot about this. Ashish Birla tweeted, I'm excited to announce Ripple's investment in Bitso. Our partnership goes back to 2014, and we're honored to support their next stage of growth as they expand in Latin America. And then Ripple tweeted, Ashish Birla's tweet and said, Bitso plays a vital role in Ripple, and that's U.S. to MXN corridor. We're thrilled to expand. So, yeah, lots of good feelings coming out of Ripple. Uh, This is off the Ripple website about the investment in Bitso. Uh, they talked about in 2018 remittance flows in the Latin America and the Caribbean increased by almost 10%, with Mexico receiving the largest amount of these payments. Well, obviously, they got that quarter open for some time. Over $35.7 billion transacted every year. Remittances are vital for the economy and important source for financial support for many households in the region. region that's why Ripple is excited to announce that we've been leading the investment round in Bitso. And also, Coinbase was another one of the investors. And it's funny, isn't it interesting that Coinbase has been looking at other projects that are associated with either XRP and or Ripple? So Ripple partnership with Bitso starts at the beginning. We met the team in 2014, saw the technology they built in this four-person shop. We're able to send money cross borders with technology faster than the big banks. It's incredible. Um, let me go back on here. So Bitso team is unparalleled. Their technology was built from the ground up through years of experience. So they've been at this a while. I mean, they're going on five years. They're from 2014, five years. They're probably doing very well. And they just really needed some money to grow here. And here it is right here. Here's their mentioning the Coinbase. Um, this is in the blockchain, the block crypto here.com. Crypto Coinbase invests in, in the exchange Bitso to help it expand beyond Mexico. So what I like about this is the fact that um, they've raised funds, obviously, from Ripple, Coinbase, Pantera Capital, and others. So, But Ripple is leading the round, meaning they're probably the largest of the contributors. And when you have a round of venture capital financing, you have other players. And it's generally what you do once when you're, when you're shopping for venture capital. As long as you get the one buyer, you start shopping them. And it could have been any one of them. It could have been Pantera Capital said, okay, I'm in if... And then once you start assembling some other people, you know, there's always going to be somebody leading the round. In this case, it was Ripple. Bitso wants to expand in Argentina, Brazil, but really it's beyond that. I mean, Argentina, obviously the largest uh, country by population in the region, uh, and crypto adoption in the Latin American region is rising as much as 70% of its population remains unbanked. That's a huge amount. 70%? Are you kidding me? Um, Huawei also announced that it's exchange in Argentina. So we're seeing really good penetration in the South America now. And when I was down in Chile not too long ago, there was a little bit of excitement around, um, you know, not only just uh, some of the some of the altcoins, but Bitcoin's a big topic on everyone's mind as well. Bank XRP tweeted this one out. Much of our community has already read the news about BRD's strategic partnership with Ripple. While the wider press details information about the partnership and involvement of the Ripple as a spring network, it's important for us too. So I like what they're doing here. Again, what they're doing is they're sort of detailing what their their partnership from their point of view. Much of the community has already read the news. Um, while the wider press details information about the partnership and involvement with Ripple Spring Platform, it's important for us to provide more insight into our experience working with Ripple thus far. And that's why we're enthusiastic about the future. So I like what they talk about here. There's no denying that Ripple has one of the largest and tight-knit communities. And I would just say that that's more about XRP, the digital asset. But of course, there's a giant fan base for Ripple as well. And while we know this from afar, witnessing it firsthand totally exceeded our expectation. And that's you because you are the one out there retweeting it and getting involved with the tweets out there and really championing that. And I think it took them by surprise. On October 3rd, we began to socialize news across Twitter and other media outlets. The amount of support and enthusiasm from the community was unprecedented. So we showed them some, some basically what the XRP community and crypto community at large is all about. Additionally, there's a spring ecosystem which garnering a community of developers to easily navigate or integrate XRP into their apps using the spring SDK, which we covered here not too long ago. 
which supports multiple languages. Now, that, when we're talking about languages, we're talking about computing languages. And that I've, I've long asserted that SDK, it really is Ripple's secret weapon. That is the killer right there because now you can take any, make any payment work with any payment system and add on to it. So they talk about the team here and how um, it includes the easy to make BRD the cheapest and easiest place to buy XRP, music to our ears. These types of relationships are extremely important, not only for moving our business forward, but for pushing the industry forward. Offering a better user experience is something we always strive for, and Ripple is a tremendous help on that front. So, you know, you really see really strong partnership. Above all else, we're impressed by the adoption of XRP for real use cases around remittance, payments, cross-border banking initiatives. And as a company, we want to push the uses and adoption of digital assets. Ripple is an ideal partner for it. So I always like hearing it from both sides. This is from BRD, hearing it from where they're coming from, and then hearing it from the Ripple side. I love that they put this out. Please go ahead, if you'll enjoy the content, like, subscribe, and click that bell for future notifications. And also check us out on onthechain.io. This is Chip off the block. That's my take. What's yours? Let me know down below. Chip out.